All new at 6, safer roads, faster response times. The goal of a new system Mesa is testing to move traffic out of the way of emergency vehicles. In tonight's Operation Safe Roads report, ABC 15's John Genovese finding out how the technology works. And John, the department already seeing some promising results been in place for a few weeks. You may have seen those small black sensors on top of traffic lights. This one's a little hard to make out right now given it's dark, but they read emitters on fire trucks and change the light in their favor. But this new system doesn't need the truck nearby at all. In the heat of the moment, every moment counts, but getting fire crews to an emergency can be a crisis in itself. Those guys get in a lot of congestion and, and then sometimes while responding code three to an emergency actually have to stop. Mesa now testing a new system tied to the city's traffic center using GPS to help firefighters move safer and faster because it's figuring out ahead of time the direction of travel of the truck, it's able to preempt the signal light sooner and allow us to get to the emergency scene sooner by clearing the traffic out of the way. Deputy Chief Brian Yock says the current system in Mesa and most other Valley cities uses sensors on or near lights to detect a special strobe emitter on the trucks. They can cause an abrupt change at the intersection and wear and tear issues. Those things move, they, they get old, they get uh, dust and debris in the, in the little tube that picks up the uh, strobe light itself. And, and then obviously you get trees and foliage that, that get in, in the way. The pilot program now in place along a portion of power in Dobson Roads. Opticom, one of the companies involved, claims the system can reduce crashes in intersections by up to 70% and improve response times by 25%. Mesa Fire Crews saying in some cases they've seen even better results. They're actually stating to me that their response times are decreasing and they're able to get to areas along Dobson Road twice as fast as they were initially. Yock says the pilot program will run for around a year and they're already in talks to make it permanent. To see where we can come up with funding, grants, whatever the case may be, to be able to purchase this and move it throughout the entire city. Now we're told Glendale is also testing out a similar system, but since Valley agencies respond to their neighbors on calls, it would really take everyone getting on board for this to work best. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, ABC 15, Arizona. John, thank you.